Welcome to this video intended for teachers. We present a short rationale for teaching about regulations and regulatory capture in the science classroom using research from science and technology studies. A quick note to say that this video is part of the stepwise project developed by Dr. Larry Benz at the University of Toronto. One of the topics students will explore is this idea of regulatory capture. Regulatory capture occurs when regulatory agencies, such as FDA, are captive of the industries they're supposed to regulate. In another way, a business industry would capture a regulatory agency to advance its private interests over public ones. Regulatory capture is often considered a neoliberal effect and appears important for capitalist wealth concentration. An example of a regulatory capture occurs through industrial involvement in the conduct and, 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 and interpretations of science investigations, such as consulting on regulations or hiring their own scientists or providing funding to the regulatory agency and its employees. So why is it important to teach students about regulations and the phenomenon of regulatory capture? And what does this have to do with science education? Regulations push students to see how science and technology fields play out in the larger social, political, and economic spheres. Students can thus gain a more tangible understanding of how for-profit industries gain their legitimacy through co-opting national and international governmental agencies and their scientists. As such, there might be opportunities for problematizing with, appro with appropriate teacher support who has power over the uses of science claims and who counts as an expert. This could begin to open up the question of what is science and who is excluded in participating in decision-making when it comes to products affecting the well-being of individual societies and environments. When students understand the ins and outs of the regulatory process and problems associated with regulatory capture, they might be more likely to consider activism beyond individual actions to consider the complexity of systems that call for more collective and sociopolitical actions. In the next videos, intended for students, we take a step-by-step -step approach to ease students into understanding the phenomenon of regulatory capture. First, we begin by explaining what government regulations are and providing some examples. Second, we introduce regulatory capture and explain what it is while walking students through a specific example, which is the regulations around, around food flavorings. And in the third and final video, we present students with a different case study around pesticide residues in soft drinks in India, where students will have the chance to apply some of the ideas they learned about in the previous videos by determining how regulatory capture is taking place and developing their own actor network map, depicting various stakeholders connected to the issue, and considering the role of civil organizations in driving social change.